all that water out there, that's normally pasture land. All that you can see from the right hand where that telephone pole is to the far left over here, that is usually all pasture through there. So all this here so is all going to have, it, it looks like you're looking at great green grass. You walk beyond this dirty spot right here and it looks like this. How many acres of green grass do they typically need? Um, each horse typically needs uh, approximately, with the supplement of hay, uh, approximately three quarters to an acre apiece. Um, we have approximately 86 that we have available to us here. The water came up so high, we had trees that pushed that support up. Do you see how that support's not hooked here? Mm -hmm. We had trees come through this, and it hit that and pushed it up and washed out. You see the erosion here? Mm-hmm. Our gate's completely gone. We're missing a gate here. There was a gate there. It took it off the pins. This isn't a tree that grew in. This is crap that is literally got washed up. That's how crazy it got washed up. This isn't a tree that grew in a fence. So kind of where the dark spot is on the pole, right? That's about how high the water was. It was enough that you couldn't see this fence line. See? More trees. More logs. But this kind of stuff washed up in the fence. And then we had water coming in from that way as well. So we've lost fence posts over here that have come out. Um, and then the water, ha it had to go somewhere. So this used to all be great gravel road. All this big right here, this used to all be grazable. This was all pasture right there. And that is now nothing but sand. When the river goes back down, because you can see the other bank from where I'm at, mm -hmm. the river is usually maybe me to you wide. So you can see all the extra water we have. And this used to all be grazable land. And now it looks like this. So there is normally some water standing right there with the little island yeah, there, but there, not nearly. There's a little bit on one side of it, but not a lot. Yeah, so this place is all new. The water was so high, it was up on those trees. You couldn't see the trunks of those trees. And all that was completely covered in water, and it brought up sand and rocks and trees, pieces of canoes. Um, garbage, uh, metal pieces, uh, piece of other people's fences, um, just junk. And so, you know, what do you, what do you do with standing water like this? The water just came through here and just almost twisted it and snapped it? Yeah, it pulled the fence and it just continued to twist. And we've already pulled trees out of this area that were six eight inches in diameter 10 and 12 feet long still had root balls on them um and you know they would wash up and bang against this and we'd come down and pull um and so it just did you know something came through and grabbed it and pulled it you know i mean that's that's a heavy fence post well these holes in the ceiling are from water this is knocking from water you can see water damage to the barn are you gonna are you working on repairing this right yeah, now, or is this part of the patching roof and patching roof? But all this needs to be retinned inside because it washed all this out. Uh, washed out water back there. You can see the nasty running out. Our equipment got very damp because of the water. The, because the water ran in there and it ran out the back door. So all this back into the barn flooded. We had a couple inches of water, so our equipment got moldy. So we're going to spend the winter cleaning equipment. 